All right, so 50 million download celebration patch notes are here. New Merlin. She looks, she looks pretty cool in the picture. She looks, uh, she's just there. I like Ascanor, he's just barely in here. He's just blocked by the, the, the King Wing. And uh, people have been theorizing, I saw people in chat saying, does that mean Ascanor comes next? I don't know. I don't work for them yet. One day. I will infiltrate. They won't know what's coming. But for now, I don't. So, how is the banner and what does she do? So, I am assuming, going across to the base, has already translated what she does. And if not, I'll be very sad. Okay, thank you. <sighs> so long. I'm mentally preparing to read this. Do I have to read this? Can you guys pause the video and read? Okay, let's talk about the banner first, right? Because I am, I need to mentally prepare before I talk about what she does. If you want to know, if you want to see gameplay of her, the video for it has already been uploaded, it's in the channel. Um, if I don't forget, I'll put it in the top right. But this is the banner. So, of course, Merlin's the main unit. And uh, these are the featured units. No Lost Vein or whatever the other characters that were shown in the banner. Um, oh, sorry, in the, the, the teasers, like the D3, D2, none of them. Except for Galfrey. Galfrey was there. So, Merlin, horrible fast of which would be in this banner because the new Merlin completely replaces her. And we'll talk about she does, of course, but like, horrible fast of which would be in the banner. Dan's a good festival, right? So, that's a good character to pick up. You know, if you summon, maybe pull her. That's good. Galfrey's a good unit. If you don't have him, it's a good pick. He doesn't need dupes. Nice. Now, the, the unfeatured... Red Tower me up, good. Just added to star tickets though, but good. Grisaro, good. Again, star ticket. Scotty, really good. Yorm, really good. They got it really good. Freyr, phenomenal. It should pull dupes for, because um, he needs dupes. So if you have, even if you have him, it's a good pick. Now, <laughs> the, the the rest here, right? Um, Four Merlins, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's Merlin. It's funny. But... Why not go the whole way? You know, put Coin Shop Merlin, put Red Merlin, put Blue Merlin. They put Ragnarok Merlin, which is a terrible unit. Terrible, terrible unit. She was just in the Festival banner, so you, likely you pulled her five times instead of putting a good unit. Um, Sorry, Merlin, people have been questioning if she's even getting, gonna get replaced because Summer Merlin is actually still very good. But remember that if you want to pull a specific character from this banner, the individual rates for the unfeatured characters are gonna be so low that you might not pull. You might just pull Green Ascanor. Like, half the banner is shit. Like, Green Ascanor, I know he's the fourth best unit in the game, but he's shit. Green Arthur, old character, he's still good, but you probably already have him and he only needs to be 1 6. Same as, like, Excalibur Arthur. This unit sucks. Like, she's useful for. What? She sucks. He sucks. She sucks. Um, one thing is, though, this banner, even though I'm saying, like, okay. There's a lot of really bad units, right? It's better than most fast little banners because, you know, if you recall, Asterosa just came out with like some coin shop trash. Um, it's still a good banner. I would say though, November, end of November and December, probably gonna be the hypest fast of the year. And we're still, I think we'll be getting another Ragnarok unit that helps with dogs. Like, I like Tonar. I've been a Tonar stan since she came out. But I still think they're going to be some other one because dogs are still hard. So keep that in mind because Merlin's a PvP only character. <sighs> I am mentally prepared. At the start of Ally's turn, randomly applies one element. Element is the new debuff she applies, similar to darkness. It's basically darkness, but not really. Um, on enemies without already having element, that's a great debuff. For every element effect, increases the all stats of her, uh, by 7% of hers, sorry. Before allies activate skills against enemies with element, for three turns, apply the effect, the element effect on the enemy. Um, th there's a red debuff. So, unlike darkness, which was a gray debuff, every single time you stack, the debuffs that are applied after a red debuff, so they can be cleansed, um, the things don't be that much of a deal because the only... Character that cleanses right now in PvP is Margaret, right? And she's not honestly, I don't even see Margaret that much anymore. 
For three turns, apply the effect, okay? When there are four elements applied on the enemy, so when you attack them four times, essentially, remove all the debuffs and apply the superior element, element debuff, which uh, is going to be, like, randomly generated when the match starts, which one is going to be for each enemy. It's so annoying how confusing this character is, but it's how it is. If you haven't watched the gameplay, it's easier to understand visualizing it, uh, but... One of them is going to be stunned, so if you attack them four times, they're either going to be stunned for one turn, they're going to be taking extra 50% damage um, for one turn, or they're going to be attacked for one turn, or they're going to be 100% crit rate lowered for one turn. Now, the one thing is, right? The one thing is, attack ceiling and, and stunning, pretty good. Now, if you're going to be applying this at the end of the turn, for example, right? Doing increased damage is going to be not good because it only lasts one turn so the moment you apply that that turn of theirs is the last time that debuffs can be applied and you have to restart you know and start from the beginning when it comes to stacking those debuffs uh minus 100 crit ch chance is cool i guess um but not as good as like stun your attack ceiling so there is like an element of of uh luck kind of because you want to stun them, probably, and attack seal them. That's probably the best things you can do. And that's why people are saying, oh, maybe Summer Merlin's do better. Because Summer Merlin's guaranteed that you will attack seal them, right? It's like a guaranteed thing. You, you're going through. And you can't even do this in the first turn, because you need to attack them four times. And I don't know if you guys know this, but you can't attack four times in one turn in PvP. Uh, tip. Uh, so, very complicated passive, very long. I still think she's going to be very good. Like, she looks very inconsistent, but very powerful. Her stats are the best stats in the game, so... If <sighs> flicks damage equals 280, the Police Troll Ultimate Gage is the same card as uh, Halloween Gaffer. Um, and, like... What's on the character? Blue Lily is AoE. The uh, Christmas Lily. This is a new card. It's kind of similar to Astorosis card, where for each Darkness, he does 50% more damage. For her, for each element, she does 40% more damage. And it's AoE. She's gonna be hitting incredibly hard. Then her ultimate. I'm gonna read the, the last one. And then you can decipher that each time you get an ultimate level, it gets better. Because at level 1, it's one element, two element, two element, four element. Randomly applies four element effects. So it's similar to like how Reinhard works, where Reinhard, you uh you get a random passive when he ults, right? For her, it's the opposite where she applies a random maxed out element debuff such as the damage increase the uh, stun attack seal right if you have her 6-6 even if they don't die to the ultimate which they will die but even if they don't die to the ultimate they're stun and attack sealed um so, yeah, fun stuff um effect does not overlap with current blah blah so and also plus 40 for each element she is going to be very 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 useless for pv Maybe PvE farming, but that's it. Um, so keep that in mind. Of course, it's a normal festival, 3, 600, 900. You get guaranteed SAR, guaranteed SAR. Pick one at the end. And that's it for the banner, right? What else is coming? New chapter. So that's gems. Um, costumes, of course. You can buy the, like, standard festival units. So no uh, Holy Wars no darkness sorry dark slash light so if you have three coins waiting for the end good chance to, good time to buy them. new card set it's um if you have an unknown in the party uh increases hp related stats by five percent and all allies um damage reduction by ten percent it's okay your Mingander relic when she procs her passive Ranks up all cards in hand when you're doing deer. And you can only proc her passive in deer, so. Uh, when you proc her passive, she uh, ranks up all cards in hand. And uh, it's pretty powerful. Cool sock. He just gets 80% crit damage. And cleanses. Sorry, and cleanses. Yeah, I forgot about that. He, she also cleanses you. Um, I can't really think of a situation that cleansing would be useful for deer. I guess old sealing. He does old seal on, like, floor one. That's about it. He infects. I've never had infect like cock me in a run ever with Jormungandr because 
like, you're just so strong already with your minion, but true, that's true, she, he doesn't affect. And you can have Merlin uh, give you your uh, login bonus. Um, this is the rotation for a good boss. Um, you can buy stuff in the game, Shocker. They are changing some UI stuff. Well, when you're making up a team, uh, the text that shows what amount of stats you're going to get is not going to take over people that would be below it. Um, if you buy the monthly and weekly bundle, now you don't have to scroll when you skip a bonus to like see everything that you get. Um, now there's no need to go to a vendor to get 20% gold from selling gold boxes. Okay. Slight improvement on the UI for uh, gear. So you can see the max stat of that gear. Um, also, I, I think they sh it's not this, but they show... Uh, now you can do the uh, consecutive deathmatch on both Belmoth and OG Demon. It's cool. Login bonus. You're getting 150 gems this month off login bonus. Of course, extra with on top of what you usually get, you know, PvP, stuff like that. Cool. Um, 20, 20, 20 in the first three days, and then 30 at the end here. And of course, some SA coins, some pendants. Right? Um, one multi for free on Merlin. Could gather. Probably won't, but could. Um, plus some random shit, right? Level 90 coin. Just one. I'm assuming we're going to get another one for part two. That's how we was last time we got something like that. Um, one of these, like, Hawk card events, they're just going to get random good stuff from, you know. You know, you know the ones, you know. Big Hawk is back. Big Hawk. Big Hawk. And you can get the uh, new, like, um, what's it called? Tracksuit outfit for Merlin and then for these three characters as well. Just random, like, good stuff. If you've done story, the moment you log in, you can get 25 gems plus some extra stuff. Um, lucky bag. King exchange. Random buffs and stuff that you usually get, like double XP, stuff like that. No gear gotcha right, right up, uh, for what I've seen. Hawk Pass, standard. New outfit for Tonar, because I hate demons. Uh, demons don't deserve anything. F five weapons, that's useless. Uh, but yeah, Tonar outfit. It looks funny. I mean, I, I, it's, it, it kind of looks like the fur one. It's like a furry outfit. Um, it's it's going to do furry, car furry outfits now, okay? They're probably going to do a furry outfit for Freya when she comes out. So, um, that's about it. At the end here, it's just like random stuff. Um, did I miss anything? I don't think I did. It's just, these celebrations, right, have been so standard. Like, this is the standard stuff that we usually get for celebrations. We don't get, like, any, like, different cool stuff anymore, right? There's no fever, no free banner, right? There's... It's always the same standard shit that we usually get with every single celebration. And, um, I mean, it, it's it's okay. The celebration is pretty mid. I mean, it's a down celebration, and we... Like, last two down celebrations, uh, yeah, no blessing either, right? Last two down celebrations, we got free banners, and this one we... We down. Like, this is literally the Thanksgiving celebration. Like, they're, they're thanking for 50 million, and like, I mean, I like the, the login bonus, it's cool, but I also like content, you know? The, the only new content we're gonna get from all this patch is like, of course, we got a new unit, which is not, I wouldn't consider content, because if you don't pull for, which this this banner, I was saying it's a good, it's a good banner, like Merlin's good, I think, I haven't used her yet, but I think she's good, and like, there's a lot of good units in the banner, but, um, <laughs> but the, uh, the end of year festivals plus whatever Ragnarok comes out next, also pretty enticing, right? Um, and all we get is Big Hawk. Big Hawk. That's it. I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm going to say this now so that I can come back and say that I'm a prophet. I think Askenor is the next festival. 
it's like a good transition from Merlin to Escanor. I don't think Merlin signifies that Escanor is the next festival at all. It would be a good back-to-back -back festival, though, because it's Merlin, you know? And if it is, like, purple jacket Escanor, that will make sense, right? Um, so, it's your choice. If you like Merlin, it's not bad. Um, it's not a bad pick, to be honest. I think she's going to be very good. We'll see. Tomorrow, we'll see how good she will be. And uh, that's about it.